by pretending you don't know where China is or what China is or what's happening to insinuate that you are not aware of a situation that is happening in your very finite circle of power players, of what's happening to Daryl Morey, of what's happening to the Houston Rockets, of what's happening to this game, this league. That is arguably one of the most dishonest, half-hearted responses you will ever hear. So remember this the next time that Steve Kerr jumps out in front of the easy bus. Oh, it's easy to rip the president. It's easy to say you support LGBTQ. Because you're just saying, hey, I'm a good person. What good person wouldn't? You know what's not easy? It's not easy to say, hey, I know the league's got a lot of business dealings. But what's going on over there ain't right. And I'm not totally comfortable with it. And I don't get to make all those calls, but we should really, really analyze what we're doing. Nah, that's brave. That takes a little something. You offend a few people on the left or a few people on the right, that ain't brave. Not everybody's going to like you anyways. But you see what's going on with the NBA and what's going on with Steve Kerr. Wow. What an embarrassment. 248-539-9797. I'd like to talk about it. Sorry if that's a little heavy to start the show, but you know what? Get your brain working a little bit. Kind of shows you what's under the hood. Shows you how the sausage gets made. That's the kind of stuff I dig. So let's talk about it a little bit. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We can go to Pat ninety seven one. What's up, Patty? Hi, Mike. How are you? I'm good. What's on your mind? Greatest opening to your show I've <laughs> ever heard, and I'm not your biggest fan. So okay. I'm not, you know, it's not a. It's just it's the reality of it. Uh, got in my car and I, I couldn't believe it, but you are so right on. Here you've got a country that's discriminating against Muslims, that, you know, basically cheats on every trade deal they've ever made, that's responsible in some ways for the deindustrialization that's occurred in this country. And you've got these guys who basically, on all these other issues, you know, virtue signal their greatness. It reminds me of the famous comment by Lenin that the capitalists would sell him, sell him the rope that he would use to hang him. That's literally what's going on right now. Well, I mean, you got so a country who only allows like four or five officially uh, uh, official religions to be practiced. You've got a right. you've got a country who will basically detain journalists who even cover human rights issues. I mean, it, it's it's right. listen, it's laughable. Yes, absolutely. And yet, you know, you could go on and on with the human rights violations. You know, the one-child policy, women forced to have abortions there because they were pregnant with a second child. One can take any position on the abortion issue, but I think everyone should agree no one should be forced to get one. And that's what's gone on there. Yeah. But again, you'll never hear that from guys like Steve Kerr. Well, but, that, but, just, that's, but that's my whole point, though, is isn't this the easiest thing to talk about? Oh, these cool. yeah. these are facts. And Steve yeah. Kerr wants you to believe he cares so much about people yeah. like the NBA does, right? NBA yeah. cares. Basketball without yeah. borders. Yeah. This is the yeah. easiest thing to say. I'm not yeah. down with human rights violations. We oh, probably yeah. need to, to rethink this. And instead, yeah. it seems like <laughs> Kerr and the league are going to do what everybody does to China, bend over backwards. That's exactly right. Again, Mike, thanks for... Thanks for saying what you said. It needed to be said. No, I pre- Have I a listen, great day. I appreciate it. Understand. I know it's not going to be something you'll hear on a lot of shows today. It might be a little heavy, but it, it, this involves sports. This involves one of our leagues showing their truest of true colors. And mind you, the NBA's growth is explosive. The NBA is making money hand over fist. But the NBA has gotten away with living a bit of a lie. But the the NBA, oh, my God, they are so woke. My God, did you see what Popovich said? Did you see what Kerr said? Adam Silvers, the hip-hop commissioner, player empowerment. This is a good league. Well, understand something. I can still like the NBA, but know what the NBA is. The NBA is not a good league. They're in business with bad people, people who believe in things that are objectively wrong that do not fall in line with what I think is a reasonable perspective on life. So, yeah, Steve Kerr, Pop, Adam Silk, kind of got yourselves caught up now. So admit it's about the moolah, 
and we can criticize you like everybody else and move along. By the way, where's LeBron on this? Where's the king? Just asking. He likes to talk. And I don't mean Taco Tuesday. He's probably preparing for that right now. No, 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 no. Where is he? Because I would assume LeBron thinks human rights is important, right? Oh, I'm sure. He's talked a lot. I'm not just going to dribble that ball. Yeah. What do you got, Ron? You can't silence me. Yeah. Hey, LeBron, I got Adam Silver on line six. Just saying. 97 1. That's it. Go ahead, Sal. David, you have, if you want to stay out of it, stay out of it. I just, I'm telling you, it's laughable well, what the NBA th- th- is doing. This it. comment is, this uh, topic's way too heavy for me, Mike. I'm sorry. No, I'm just messing. Um, uh, that's probably what most of the audience is saying. <laughs> well, uh, no, hey, I haven't heard this discussed much today, so I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. I think that it's clear the NBA is telling people not to say anything. I, I wouldn't be surprised, as David pointed out before the show, too. I wouldn't be surprised one bit if there's some sort of memo, if there's some sort of talking point of, hey, you know what, guys? You are not to speak about this at all. Hey, not that that stopped anyone in the past from peaking, speaking out about stuff, but I've, I've been to the point the past year or two specifically where if I see a headline that says Steve Kerr comments on blank, I don't click it. I, I don't need to hear from Steve Kerr on any social issue, on any political issue, but I will tell you that I did click this one last night and uh, this morning, and it just, it's just it's laughable, and it's also just kind of uh, disingenuous, if you ask me, that, yeah, all of a sudden, sure, now he's not going to talk. Yeah, my now brother-in-law's he's, a history. Now he's, uh, now he's afraid to say anything, yet he's the guy that always wants to run his mouth about social issues. Mike, and, and this is, I know this is slightly away from what you're talking about, but I, I don't need to hear from any of these guys on any social issue or any political issue. So I, I try to stay away from any Steve Kerr, any Popovich talk about politics, ripping the president, social issues. I don't want to hear it from them. So, yeah, now Steve Kerr doesn't want to talk because, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm assuming my opinion that the NBA is telling people to be tight-lipped about this because they don't want some incident to even get any worse in their eyes. 